Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, getting back to the Nazumi Man Perfect Run series, and it seems we only have two bosses left. Next up is Wave Nazumi, who seems to cause a bit of gender confusion, actually. According to the TV Tropes page for this game, Wave Nazumi is listed as the one girl. However, it also says there are those who believe Wave Nazumi is a cross-dressing surfer dude, so she also gets the wholesome cross-dresser trope. Personally, I prefer to go with the one girl. Wave Nazumi seems like the most feminine and the cutest among the Nazumi crew, so, uh, yeah. Wave a mouse is. So looking at the tiles here, we have kind of an obvious Flashman tribute going on here, and I really love that stage, so that makes me happy. Unlike his stage, though, the floors are not slippery, so no worries there. We do have these strange waves going on, though. They don't carry you along like a conveyor belt, like you'd kind of think they would. They just slowly move you up and down, which can mess with your jump height and your aim, so do be wary of that. You can't get rid of the pink balls, so you just have to avoid them. They're just going to be a constant obstacle for you. I really love the music in this stage, another of my absolute favorites from this game. Now this stage does have its share of gotcha moments, mostly in the form of these pink cannons, aiming and shooting right at you as soon as you get into a room. So take them out as quickly as you possibly can before they become a real issue. Now if you're using Nazumi weapons, the Ice Lance or the Pashiri Gun can get that extra life for you, but we'll just let that go for now. The green cannons attack with the power of math, firing off bullets that fly in wave shape formations. They can be a bit confusing at first. And then we have this weird thing. I don't know if it's making some kind of reference that I just don't know, but, uh, yeah. To take it out, shoot the hook that's holding it up. Just... <laughs> so weird, that thing. Thankfully, the wave bullets are fairly slow, so they'll give you enough time to see where they're going. They shouldn't mess you up too badly. Another gotcha cannon. And a green cannon that we actually can't really seem to do anything about. It's protected by that gate that you can't shoot through, and you need this stage's weapon to get through the gate, so, uh, yeah. Using the Ice Lance, you can get to that ladder up there. I'll show what's up there during the outtakes. Now, you'd absolutely need the Pashiri Gun to get that piece of cheese in there. Luring shots. And there we go. Seriously, what is up with this thing? This is just so bizarre looking. And for this game, that's saying something. So here we have a trippy little gimmick. I really like the way this looks. For those wondering, it can't kill you outright. It just squeezes you out to the side. Of course, from here on in, that pretty much means going in the death spike, so... <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, I'd avoid that anyway. And sorry about that. <laughs> uh, well timed, that. If I wasn't so close to the end, I would have restarted, but, uh, yeah, we're almost out. <laughs> it's time for Wave Nazumi. Her weapon of choice, the Shockwave. Dealing with Wave Nazumi is kind of a reaction battle. You want to be about halfway across the room from her to see what she's gonna do. Her movements are kind of reminiscent of Anchor, in a way. Just don't underestimate her. She'll very happily tear you a new one if you let her. If she does a full jump across the room, she's going to throw the shockwave down to the ground like that and watch it spread out to the sides. But there we go. Figures I make it through this on the one where I have a nice big sneeze mid-recording. Great. <laughs> anyway, with that, we get the shockwave. Which, uh, seems to be a black thong. Okay. 
So, yeah, this stage, like I said, it has a lot of gotcha moments, so I have a number of outtakes here to enjoy. Apparently the sneeze wasn't one of them, but anyway. The stage does have a few gotcha moments, such as these cannons that like to shoot at you as soon as you land in the room. Yeah. The ice lands, but we'll just pass it up for now. The green cannons... <sighs> yeah, they do that. Anyway, to take it out, you need to fire at the chain and then walk right into a bullet from a wave cannon. Perfect! And there's another of those gotcha cannons. Yep. This is largely a reaction battle. Stay about halfway across the room from her to see what she's gonna do. She's kind of like a light version of Anchor in a way. And she still managed to hit me. She hits me because she loves me. So with that, it's time for Wave Nazumi. Her weapon of choice is the... Uh, I'm good at English today. Her weapon is the Shockwave. You want to stay about half a room away from her so that you can react to what she's going to do. Her way of moving across the stage, it's kind of reminiscent of Anchor in a way. Although more manageable than his, uh, than his speed. If she does a full jump across the screen like that, she's going to throw the Shockwave downward and it travels along the pl uh, central platform a bit. Really? Bugger! Another of those gotcha moment cannons. And a wave cannon shot. Bingo! So some careful maneuvering and paying attention, and this battle isn't too terribly bad. Just don't underestimate her, or she'll very happily tear you a new one. Like that! Bugger! So, just proof of concept to show what's up here. And we get an S-Tank. Right, so seasonal allergies aside, this stage still had a few gotcha moments. It's not a stage to underestimate, though if you pay attention, it shouldn't be too terribly much trouble. I give Wave Nozumi a 3 out of 10. Her stage is a bit tricky in the sense that a lot of the enemies will try to surprise you, most commonly the pink cannons. Knowing where they are can make all the difference, really. The wave areas, they can be uncooperative, but generally it's just a matter of paying attention. This is also largely true of Wave Nazumi herself. You'll need to watch for when she throws her wave ball attack, make sure you're out of its path, and then just react to how she moves across the room. It's one of those stages and battles where, so long as you pay attention, it's no problem really. So, a pretty solid 3 out of 10, I'd say. So with that, that's the end of that one. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So, I guess there's but one left. Versus Dragon Nazumi.